perfect conditions here in Kitakusha as we get underway. Canada through Stacey bobbles the ball, but it goes backwards. And now out to Ben. Brittany Ben quickly gets over the advantage line and over the 22. Julia Greenshield. Stacey again. Farella to Kish. Into the contact back to Farella. They're making their tackles. First up tackles from the Russians. Landry to Ben. Ben spots a gap, gives it back. Short ball to her captain. Try number one for Canada. And Gislaine Landry opens their accounts. Cool as a cucumber, wasn't that just Ben? She's been outstanding so far this season. And Landry, her finishing touch is just so classy. There's a bit of confusion in the middle of the field there from the Russians. You can see the two of them clashed. Nobody identified who they were taking, so it meant that Landry had an easy free run to the try line. But Canada, this is why they're so dangerous. Landry, 23 points yesterday, 154 before those seven there. So 161 for this year, Marlon. She's just developed into such a great sevens player, prolific point scorer. And there you see it, 161. Michaela Blight yet to score a try here in Japan. Yeah, surprise it's been uh, going more Portia Woodman's way, hasn't it, for New Zealand? But Landry, she can create individually and she's coming off beautiful structure. They're doing all that work in the middle of the park for her. Kish will get up Back and compete, point. but the Russians finally get a chance to get their hands on the ball and look for their structure. Look to try and move the ball into the midfield. Into the clash they go. Coming over is there. And now out to Mikhailsova. Distinctive colored dreadlocks for the Russian flyer. Coming over goes in and has to clear it out. The line speed from Canada is so good that they're going to have to run across the field. And then look at Canada just holding their line, holding their defense. It's resolute defense from the Canadians. Now Canada, the Russians. Mikhail over again, gets it, an offload. This is Pedrova, nice pass. Finds some space and there's plenty of it down that right-hand side. Russians just playing in the middle of the field. Now they've found some space and they break out. Sweep and a beat. Landry does well. Just to hold her up and buy some time. Ben has done brilliantly to steal it. Good chance here for Canada on the counter-attack. Farella tried to get it into the hands of Darling. Hannah Darling gets it eventually. Breaks through the first. Jen Kish back to Green Shields. Green Shields breaks away. The mistake from Russia and Canada punished them. Good finish by Green Shields. She's super quick as well, but I'm going to put that all down to that incredible Canadian defensive system. Kish involved here, the veteran. She knew there was a little bit of space on that short side, but seriously, the way that the Canadians pushed Russia behind the 22, they just manned up. It was unbelievable. Maybe the kick option may have been better for them, Mel. Russia made that break in the middle of the field, didn't they? Usually that would have been a try, and Landry, who's kicking here, the sweep so accurate at the back two. 12-0. Canada beat England 29-12. Spain 43-5, and the USA 29-12 as well yesterday. The Russians had two good wins against France and Japan, and then the loss to New Zealand. It's great to see Ashley Stacey back in this Canadian side. She missed Sydney, missed Vegas rather, was in Sydney. Good contest, Hamidova brings the ball down. Brittany Benz in there really quick and she might get the penalty. Two confrontational Russia. Look to build. Hamidova maybe should have looked for that offload. But so good in the contact, isn't she, Brittany Ben? 
Well, she's become the complete sevens player in my view. The 27 year old who made her debut in Atlanta in 2014. She's one of those players too, Mel, I think. She's one of those players that I think she could play either in the forwards or back. She obviously starts in the midfield, but she wouldn't look out of place in the forwards. Yeah, well, she's she's 72 kilograms, so she's a big centre out there. They win the ball. Stacey comes around. The captain, Landry, thought about offloading to Ben, who came back on the cut. Stacey looped around. Now out to Green Shields. Wonderful fend. Great finish. What a great move off set piece. I love that. There was deception, runners off the ball in the middle of the park, and it was Stacey who came around on the wrap and provided that extra man. So let's have another look at it. Off the top ball, Landry. There she is there, coming around Stacey. Lovely pass out to Green Shields, who fended off Throkova, who's no slug herself. Oh, we isn't Julia Greenshields having a great tournament? Well, she's having such a great tournament, Mel. Leading into this tournament, she had scored six tries. She's picked up five here in Kitakyushu. She is loving her time in Japan. And coach John Tate is thrilled to have her here. There you can see second on the all-time list on day two, Alia Green, who picked up an injury earlier in that Australian game. Nayan Basali. Six on day one. That's you, Kish, that's you. Again, they go down the middle, and again, Jen Kish gets up, gives it to Stacey. Darling, inside the 22 they go. Fidel has lost it forward there. Oh, look, there's a, a bit of emotion there, frustration. Coming from Mikhotseva there with the colour in her hair. But they do have an opportunity to strike here, Russia. They need to take this chance. And Drakova is the person. They've got to get the ball into her hands with some space. She picked up three tries yesterday. 31 in her career, but she has got pace. And they give it to her immediately as well to go to work on Green Shields. They loop her around. Did Ben lose that forward? No, says the referee. Kisses it. Well, Russia got out of bed the wrong side today. There's no doubt about that. Whereas Canada, they operate like clockwork. Jen Kish there in the end to collect. The wraparound should have been simple, but it was a hope. Pass and hope and Kish on the money as always. Fantastic work from Brittany Ben to create the mistake, to cause the pressure, and then to commit her body to the ball secured possession for that wonderful player there Jen Kish and the captain makes it seven from there of course she did <laughs> four tries in seven minutes Canada comfortably ahead by 24 to nil still plenty of time to go though in this match as Ghislaine Landry kicks out to the left Double Battle Double for the ball in the year again. It's been lost forward. Well, Russia really need to restart, pretend it's nil all. They can score tries. They've got some individual brilliance in this team. They've actually added a little bit more to their game in this tournament by going wider. Varying from just attacking around rucks. Just haven't had any ball, really. Mikhail Sova gets caught in the midfield there. She breaks away. Now it's just on Landry. Puts out the big fend and then just keeps going. Brilliant run, inside pass. This is one of the great tries. Just unable to get there. Wonderful defense coming in from Canada. Watch him, Roy, came out of nowhere. Watch him, Roy and Farella. Two on the one player from Russia. Here's the initial break. Mikhulseva decided to take it on herself rather than get it out to the winger. She's an excellent player. Canada from inside their own 22. The kick and chase for Williams. Charity Williams. How's the bounce? Not quite perfect for her, but she secures possession. Landry will finish it. 
unbelievable. Well, I'll put it down to the class of the defensive work to get back and stop a certain Russian try 30 seconds ago. And how about this team, Canada? Your coach, John Tate, told you at halftime, let's kick it down to the right-hand corner. Landry's the one that booted it down. And there was a bit of luck here as well. Williams chasing, she's got speed. Both went for the ball, but Williams got back up and gave that ball off to Landry, who was running the support lines brilliantly. Great tactic. Such an astute player. There's Gislaine Landry, the kick first and then to follow up. And something that's impressed me about this Canadian team, Mel, is their rugby smarts. They just make good decisions. Sude made that comment yesterday. And they just put themselves in positions to score points. Russia don't compete in the year and again a knock on will give them possession but that's a real big work on for them the kickoff hasn't worked at all for this Russian side no and I think it was Brittany Ben getting up underneath that ball again gee she's versatile isn't she not at Cena comes on in jersey number one and so coach Andre Kuzin making some Russian subs. Cha ching ching. <laughs> well, it's four minutes to go. He needed to try something. They just haven't found a way through this courageous defensive wall from Canada looking Fine. to try and keep them scoreless. See, Set. Ben is standing right up by that scrum. She's going to be putting pressure on at the back there. Snuff the ball out. Well, that's just changing tactics too, isn't it? They come back on the cut, but the tackles have been made. It's a good one from Farella. And that forces another error from the Russians, and it means more possession for the Canadians. Watch him, Roy. Out now to Nicholas. Gets it out to Williams. Charity Williams! And at the corner! Oh! Might have lost the dreadlock on the way. Picks up a try. And look at the smile. Nearly lost it forward at the end. But it was a great try from turnover. The Canadians moved it immediately. And once again, good passing. Really hitting it at pace. Just on the shoulder. And that is the highest score that Canada have ever posted against Russia gets it done great job and you know that turnover came because Russia went back into where all the traffic was you know they had an overlap situation they just made the wrong decision Brent Nicholas can't add the extras it's a healthy scoreline if you're a Canadian fan 36-0 2 minutes 40 to play No need to change, Mel. Surely you send it down the same way. Well, the Canadians are going to change. They're going to kick to the right this time. Fidella will chase. They take it comfortably. To the Russians through Bob Culver. Across the field, miscommunication again. The offload works well. The tackle comes in from Nicholas. Lucan. This is on Jersey 12, and it's a maul. She's got a knee to the ground. Yeah, she definitely had her knee to the ground there. But the referee had already called ball. That's the reason why she didn't have to release. Uh, yeah, nothing they're trying out there is working, isn't it? Is it for Russia? Crow! Find. Set. Canadians will be looking for 40. They'll be wanting to post as many points as they can. Williams finally gets it, slips over. Guys, a bit of time that the defence can get there. Fadella, she's a prolific try scorer. Gets the offload. Canada. 
shown how to play this great game of sevens by using space. Russia look interested and they've got the turnover. Looking to get off the donut, Russia. They've got numbers out here to the left. Now it's just a matter of running straight, drawing and passing. Some nice sidestep. Some good work coming out there from Bob Culver. Gets the ball out the back. Russia, best, best real opportunity. Noritina gets it back, and this is Lidovskaya. Mikitsova, big tackle coming in on her. Good line up here for Russia. They've got numbers. Now they look to go straight. Inside pass will work here. The cut. Then they go in and out. Thought about passing, but better option was to hold on to it because it would have been a forward pass. Charity Williams goes in and steals the ball. Fadella gets it wide. They've only got six defenders, Russia. And now they get it out wide to Nicholas. Pass on the inside. Watch him Royal score. She's been tremendous on defense and she deserves a try. Canada reached 40. What a performance from the women in the red jerseys. They're playing the game the opposite way to how the Russians are because they're using the motto that the ball beats the player. So they're putting it through the hands, they're using the width of the field. Support play again has been amazing. Great way to finish for them. Yeah, ninth time that they've ever scored 40 points, but for the Canadians, I'm sure Coach John Tate will be thrilled at the zero. Their defensive work was outstanding. And Canada will move through to the semi finals of the Cup here at Kitakushu for 2017. Full time here. Canada have won easily by 41 points to nil. Oh.